All right, yesterday we talked about the four R's of kindergarten, the four R's of kindergarten. And those are really our four, four rules of kindergarten. And rule number one, we said was be respectful. And I, you guys had a lot of great answers on how to be respectful. Rule number two, be ready to learn. Ready to learn, of course, that's why we're here, right? And rule number three, be responsible. That's a tough one. And we're just learning to be responsible at school. Rule number four, be really safe. Be really safe. And that's one of the main reasons we have rules is to keep people safe. And yesterday we talked about our kindergarten expert, Respectful Rachel. And Respectful Rachel uses kind words. She says, excuse me. You don't call out. You have to wait for your turn, you share, um, you give handshakes, although this year we're not giving too many handshakes, maybe some air fist bumps. Um, she says thank you, to sh and she shows that she cares, and she's a team player, right? She cares about everybody in the room. She's a team player. So Rachel, you rock. And I wanted to share some answers that you guys gave about ways that you can be respectful in school. And Charlotte said that one way you can be respectful is to say please and thank you. And you're absolutely right, Charlotte. Saying please and sh thank you do show respect. Those are the magic words, right? Cameron said some ways that you could be respectful is to not talk back and be nice to others. And that's that, that rule will get you everywhere in life, just being nice to other people, right? And not talking back to your grown-ups, that's also respectful of them. Candace said that she will raise her hand in kindergarten to show respect. That way she's not interrupting anyone else's turn or taking anyone else's turn. And that she thinks it's respectful when a grown-up asks her to do something and she does it. Always ask to do what your grown-up is asking you to do. So that, those are our great ways to be respectful. And I'll try to read some more answers from you guys tomorrow about what we're going to talk about now. And that is ready to learn Robert. And that's rule number two. Ready to learn Robert enjoys school and he loves to participate. That means he wants to be involved in everything that's happening in the class. When he raises his hand to share his ideas, it makes him feel so great. Showing you're ready to learn means staying on task, means doing what you're supposed to be doing, asking questions in case you don't understand something or, you know, you're curious about something. And let your creative juices flow. He really likes to use his brain and think things out, come up with new ideas. Doing these things will make your teacher's heart glow. Doing all those things that show that you are ready to learn. And your assignment today on Schoology is to go ahead and fill those speech bubbles in again, but this time you're going to give me four ways that you are ready to learn. And if I would fill those out, some things that maybe I would say, that when I come to school, I make sure that I eat a good breakfast before school because that gets my brain ready to learn. That when someone is talking, I always look right at that person and give them my full attention so I know what they're saying. And if I'm ready to learn, I also ask questions about things that I don't understand. So if I'm confused about it, um, some work, or if the teacher is reading a book and I don't understand some of the words, I always raise my hand to make sure that I'm understanding all the things that are happening so that I'm ready to learn. And another thing, I always make sure that I bring all of the things that I need to school to have with me. So I always bring my bag, what you would bring a backpack. I always bring my teacher bag that has my computer in it and any papers that I need. So I always have all my materials ready so that I'm ready to learn. So I can't wait to read all of the ways that you are going to be ready to learn at kindergarten.